Okay, now I want to show you a quick trick on what I do and I use clean wrap. So you take your counter, make sure it's nice and clean. I'm going to process my chicken and get it ready to vacuum pack. Put that down there. If you have that on there. I hate plastic wrap, but this works really well. My wife came up with this idea. And this is about all we use the plastic wrap for. So now you have a nice surface here that helps protect your surface below. Like I said, I just use regular old clean wrap. All right, let me get the rest of the stuff out. Be right back. Okay, so once you get your packs out and everything else, you got your cellophane down here. Make sure you, I always wear gloves. I wear, buy the rubber gloves, I use those when I'm handling chicken or meat or beef. Need you a good pair of trimming scissors. You can get the cheap ones, um, but uh, they're not gonna last you that long. Uh, these here are skylights. Uh, you will pay about 50 bucks for these things, but they're worth their weight in gold. This pack here is full of a lot of water. But it was $1.99 a pound. It's 4.4 .4 pounds, cost me $8.76. That's the way to go. So, once you get these, grab your breast because they're always notorious for leaving on all this fat and grizzle, as you can see down through here. So you just take Trim all that off. It's like you got to play a butcher here. Now some people like this little nugget here. I actually don't care for that. It's tough. And you can see if you got a good pair of scissors, it goes right through it. You take and you clean it up. Put it off to the side. See what I mean? They, just, they leave all this crap on here. And the thing that sucks is, is sometimes you cut off so much crap, you're actually cutting off, you know, almost a pound sometimes of fat. It just depends on whoever's doing it. But being that it's Walmart, you know, you never know where this stuff is coming from, you know? Be being processed overseas or something, but hey, they got you, you know, for the price. As you can see, these scissors do a great job, cut right through it. We're going to do this pack real quick. <clears throat> Just like so. See, they leave the, there's a vein, membrane, goes right down through there. If you leave that on there, somebody's going to get a really tough piece of chicken which you can't chew. And nobody likes that, especially if you're making a, you know, a special dish or something like that. You don't want that crap in your, your meat. You don't want to serve that to family or a guest or something like that. You want to make sure you trim all this stuff right off. <clears throat> I don't know if you people can see that vein, but that's what I'm talking about. And it's basically a piece of grizzle, so you got to cut right underneath it. You cut the whole thing right out, and you're good to go.
All right. I'm going to finish these up. And once I get them all done, that's the first pack down. Boom, took me a couple minutes maybe. And uh, I'll be back. We'll start vacuum sealing all these. So as you can see now, I got my chicken breast all ready to go. I got 16 breasts in here. I pulled uh, three out for dinner tonight. Um, and now we're gonna start measuring our bags and get them ready for vacuum sealing. All right, so we got our, our vacuum sealer out here. All right, mine has the attachment and everything for your uh, uh, cans and stuff. You just turn this bad boy on and you decide how big of a bag you need. Now see the bags roll right in here. You can see that. So, turn this, pull these out, about there, seal, cut. Now I always put the date, just up here. So today is 8, 16, 20, and I abbreviate. And that's all there is to it. Just mark your bag, get it all done. Now I just gotta make more of these. Be back in a second. Now one thing I wanna point out when I'm writing on my bags, you wanna make sure that you get a Sharpie. Because this way here, it doesn't come off in the freezer. If it gets wet, it doesn't come off. Or anything like that so one of these is very critical what you're doing when you're freezing your meats and stuff and put them in the fridge refrigerator or the freezer okay before we get going here I wanted to give you a kind of a close-up so we get that in there so you can see where it says dry and moist so when you do anything moist chicken, meat, anything like that, always hit that first, okay? And then this is for your accessories and your, your marinades over here on this side here, which it comes with. So, and now we're gonna do our first one. Now, you will notice, I don't know if you can see, but the back of this has like a mesh to it, and the front of it is smooth where I wrote the date. I always put the mesh inside the machine on the bottom so you can lift this up like this you slide it in i try to get it right up around the little tray because there's a little tray in there it'll catch any of the juices and once you get it somewhat in position <laughs> As you see, it is a little noisy. Just make sure the mesh part's down. You can slide it right in, right up over, just like that.
releases it. And there you go. Vacuum packed, ready to go. This is great for any type of your meats. Um, you can do your uh, dry goods, uh, all that type of stuff. There are certain dry goods that are very difficult to do in here, but there's tricks that you can watch YouTube videos on. I have personally haven't tried it. Um, I do rice and beans and things of that nature. So, that's how we do the chicken. Hope you all learned a little something. All right, so something good. So say I use this plastic wrap. So now, once your chicken's all done, you pull it all into you. Comes over in the trash can and you still have a nice clean surface. Now we're gonna come over here. As you can see, we have finished vacuum packing all 17 packs. All right, they're all vacuum packed and ready to go. Now, one thing you want to remember, first thing is, turn the power off, no power, all right? Second thing, unplug from the wall. Now, if you flip this up, you see this right here? You want to take this out and you see all that little, I don't know if you guys can see down in there, you can see a little moisture, okay? You want to take that out, take it over, Put it in your sink and wash that with soap and water, especially when you're doing chicken. Sometimes if you do anything wet, you'll notice that the water gets down in here, uh, which this is all dry, so everything works just fine. And that is how you use your vacuum sealer. And make sure you clean it afterwards.